What's up everyone, it's Tin here, your no-code AI automation expert and in today's video I will show you how to create a PDF contract generator in N8N. Now this is going to be a very simple automation that you can do in just a couple of minutes. Uh, now obviously if you want this whole entire template you can go into our free community on school and you can download this template along with other templates that we have on our channel. Now if you want a more hands-on approach you can always go and check out our Tino Code Premium. Uh, this is where we are going really hands-on and we're publishing more advanced things and we also have tech support here and a lot of different features so definitely check that out uh, but let's get started and let me just first go here and let me test the workflow so uh, how we have this workflow structured is we first have a form submission so whenever you have a client let's test it here you basically go here right and you want to type in your customer name your customer email your price and date so for me I will just go and write my own name because and I also want to write my own email because I don't want to send email to a customer that I didn't sign right so uh, right now but you will add your customer name here price again the price will be in the contract uh, and I will also show you how you can change these as well let's just first test it out so price is 1.2k and then date is going to be 07 of April we submit it here we exit out of it as you can see we have an AI agent that will generate the contract right uh, we also have a formatting here uh, which will format it to HTML then a PDF generator will turn it into a PDF and then as you can see if we go here if I refresh this is how I got hating thanks for joining Fueler Digital and trusting us feel free to check out the contract here I click on the contract I download the contract and then as you can see this is how it looks like right but obviously this contract can look even better and I will show you how uh, so yeah let's get right into it so uh, let's break each node one by one uh, the first node is on form submission so uh, this is a very simple uh, node all you have to do is you have to go this will be the same for everyone and you have to go here and put your uh, things that you wanna or inputs that you wanna have in your contract so for me personally I have customer name it's text I have customer email it's also text and I have price and then date as well so that's what you wanna do right it's pretty simple so once you have that you can test it out if you test it out and if you get this um, if you get this oops I don't know why it's not if I go here let me just save it again but you should be able to just click on it and uh, the the thing will pop up right the form from there we have an AI agent so this is just you go here you go to the uh, AI agent and you wanna add an AI agent now what I did here is as you can see in the AI agent I choose the tools agent because it's a much better agent for this and I click define below and I click here on the expression you can click here and this is my entire prompt now you can make this prompt even better if you want uh, however this is my prompt right this is what I have uh, and as you can see this is how it's going to look like right here but this is not the contract this is just the prompt for generating the contract now from there we're going to be using open router AI uh, chat model so we click on the chat model we add open router so you just want to go and uh, when you're adding you just type in open router and you should have it here one thing to note uh, I would recommend anyone who is doing this if you want a better output pay for a subscription of Claude Claude uh, 3.7 Sonnet is probably the best one out there uh, I'm using ChatGPT 3.5 Turbo for this and if you are wondering how I'm getting open router API key you just go to open router and in the open router you want to go to the keys and you want to create one key right here so you just create a key and then you should be able to just go on here add a credential and then paste that credential here which is at your API key from there you just simply go and uh, choose a model we have a bunch of different models here but we're going to be using GPT 3.5 turbo now from there we're also adding a memory so we have a memory here and a memory is really good because it will remember a, you know a couple of your things like for example 
uh, context window length five, I put key at eight. And uh, yeah, as you can see here, it basically saves the context. Um, sometimes this is good, sometimes you don't really need it. I just put it here, but uh, yeah, that's for the memory. Then this is very important. So uh, the contract generator or the AI agent will generate the output uh, and this will be the output, right? But we want to actually have an HTML output. So we have a formatting here and this is the code. I will show you the entire code, but as you can see, we got the output to be in HTML. As you can see, we have breaks here, BR, that those are breaks or uh, spaces in between. And we wanna go here and I actually went to ChatGPT to generate this code for me. Uh, but as you can see, this is the code. And by the way, all of these codes and everything, again, in our free group, you can check out this specific template and then you can just download it and have this code immediately in your workflow. And by the way, you can go right here, import from file, add our file, and that's it, right? So basically what this does is uh, we're adding all of these uh, things like name, address, email, and all of these informations and we're basically getting an HTML file with those informations populated. So, you know, customer name, customer email, price, address, everything. Now from there, um, we have another node which is one of the most important nodes here um, and that is PDF generator. So it's an HTTP node, so you just go and put the HTTP node. By the way, this is a code node so I just renamed it to formatting, but it's a code node. You can go here and you can search for it. But from there you have HTTP request node, which is this node right here. And this is right now more a complex thing. Uh, so what we do is we have a post method and we're using a pdf.co uh, API key. Now this is pdf.co. Uh, you can create an account on it and you get 10,000 free credits. So it's like a free trial, right? It, it's up to seven, it's like one month free trial. Um, I'm not sure exactly how much it costs. You can probably do this with free APIs as well. Uh, but as you can see from there, we can copy the key. And obviously just make sure you have this right here. This is very important. This is an endpoint, API endpoint. You can also see the, um, you can explore the endpoints here, but I already put it here so you don't have to actually worry about that. Um, and then using fields below, uh, this is send headers. You wanna make sure you turn that on. You have X API key and this is my API key right here. I will not click on it just so you know I don't reveal the entire key. Uh, and then I have name, which is content type and the value is application JSON. That's what you wanna put. And obviously send body, it needs to be JSON and you need to use the fields below. And the fields below are these, so we have name then we're going to be dragging the customer name from here in here, right? So you just drag it here. HTML is the contract HTML. And then name is async false. So that's that's what you want. And then response format is JSON. Uh, and that needs to be there. Then once you test this out, this is what you want to get. You want to get a URL for your specific um, contract. From there, uh, what we have is we have a Gmail node because we actually want to send this contract back to our uh, client. So we have a Gmail node here, as you can see. And by the way, connecting your Gmail account, extremely easy. You just click sign in with Google and you hit continue and that's it, right? So from here, what you want to do is you want to make sure you're sending a message. So send a message. Operation needs to be sent, obviously. And we're sending this to an email, which an email is right here. We have a customer email, so we just drag this right here. Subject is going to be, uh, for example, client name. If a client name is John, it will be John X Filler Digital Partnership, right? So that's what it's going to be. And then right here, we just added, if I just click here, we just added the name of our client, which is again, right here, right? So it's going to be the full name most of the time. Uh, and then email type is going to be text. And then we have it right here. It's text because if you choose HTML, it's not going to work that great. Uh, you, will, you won't have like breaks and spaces. And this is what I said right here, hey. And then this is, again, we drag 
the customer name in here. Thanks for joining Fueler Digital. Feel free to check out the contract here. And then this is the contract URL. So if you scroll here, this is the URL. And then feel free to take a look at it. If you have any questions, let me know. Best tin. Now, one thing to note here is uh, you want to make sure to add an option to append NA10 attribution and make sure to completely turn this off. If you turn this on, your emails won't look like this. They will look more like these, like they will have like a signature from NA10, which you don't want. It looks more professional without it, as you can see right here. And then from there, uh, this will be sent out, right? It will be sent out in uh, a form, uh, in a form of these. So this right here. Thanks for joining. Feel free to check out the contract here. And if we click on the contract here, right? This is this is how the contract look like. I already downloaded it here, right? And this is how it looks like. Now, obviously, we can make this automation much more sophisticated. We can add like a, a signature. We can do that. We can add multiple different things, but this is generally what you want to use. Now, again, in order to have this better, the better the output, the better the contract, right? Uh, in order to have this better, make sure to add uh, a better model. And let me just save this. For this, it could be, for example, Anthropic Chat Model. And then you can add Claude 3.5 Sonnet or 3.7 Sonnet even is better. Uh, but that's what you want to do, right? Um, because with these models, it's really... You can also use Grok Chat Model and then use the API from uh, Claude 3.7 Sonnet. Uh, that's what I would do on, on your uh, spot. So uh, yeah, I'll just connect this back. So again, this template with a bunch of other templates can be found in our free group. Uh, if you're interested in learning more uh, from me specifically and from the team, uh, we have a premium group for that. Again, you know, uh, there's just a lot of value in this group. I cannot really uh, tell you how much value it is because it's just too much, but you can go here and you can see it for yourself and check it out for yourself. So uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you find it useful. If you did, leave a like below, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you guys for watching.